Number 13, indicate what type or types of reaction each of the following represents. And then we have letter C out of the bunch. C6H12, which is a liquid, plus oxygen, right, O2, and it's a gas, will yield or produce CO2 gas and then H2O gas. Okay, so we've done a little bit on formation reactions. We talked about double displacement and neutralization reactions. If you want to see the breakdown of those, just check out number 13 A and B. Okay. So from that, those don't really follow into these categories, right? Remember double displacement or double replacement is when you have two compounds giving you two compounds. This is totally a compound because I have carbon and hydrogen. So this would be compound number one. This is a compound because it's carbon and oxygen. So that's a second one. This is a compound because it's hydrogen and oxygen. However, oxygen, even though there's two of them, this is not a compound. This would be classified as a molecule. So this is the problem for making this reaction a double replacement. You do not have four compounds across the board. A lot of students would think that this one is probably double replacement. So now we have to talk about something else. Let's see. Uh, I don't really have any acids or bases here, right? This is an, an acid. There's no hydrogens here, right? And O2 gas, so the, the stuff that we breathe in, uh, that's not a base, right? So this is an acid or base. But I do see something specific here. Hmm, it seems that I have carbon and hydrogen, right? What type of uh, name of this compound is this, right? When I have carbon and hydrogen. These are called hydrocarbons. Hydro stands for the hydrogen component. And carbon, obviously, is carbon, right? So a hydrocarbon is just a compound that has carbon and hydrogen in it. When a hydrocarbon reacts with oxygen air, which is O2 gas, right? The gas, the oxygen that we breathe, we can't see it, it's a gas. Whenever those react, basically you will form fire. This is very volatile. And what happens is you're going to form carbon dioxide gas and water. If you see this in your formula, whenever you have a hydrocarbon and you're mixing it with oxygen and it always produces out CO2, this is a very specific type of reaction. Can you guess it? This is called a combustion reaction. Combustion is when you produce, you know, basically fire, basically. It combusts, it like blows up. I don't want to say that, but it's a very reactive uh, reaction. Don't try that at home, okay? But that happens when you have hydrocarbons and they just come in contact with the air. It's very volatile. But if you can just memorize, you know, plus O2 yields CO2 and H2O, it's always a combustion reaction. Okay, so this reaction, I don't care how many carbons I have. I don't care how many hydrogens. I just have to have a C and an H. I can't have other elements in there as well, but just as long as you have a C and an H with O2, yield CO2 and H2O, you will have a combustion, and I'll say combustion reaction. Now, also to being a combustion reaction, maybe this one is a different reaction as well. This is going to, uh, we'll get to the answer by talking about charges, right? So if I look here and I just notice that, okay, there's a compound here, but there's a single oxygen diatomic, right? Well, there's, there's technically nine of them, but it's just O2. But then I have two compounds. Remember that when you have a compound, you have to have a plus and a minus charge. And the one that's in the front is always the positive, and the one that's in the back is always the negative. Now, in this case, 
I don't care what the charges are to get the type of reaction, but I just want to make sure that I do know that there are charges, right? So hydrocarbons are very special because generally speaking, the hydrogens usually are positives. So in this case, since this is organic, which if you're going to organic, you know, hopefully we have questions for that in, in the future, but... Um, this is kind of backwards, but just know that one of them has to be positive. One of them has to be negative in terms of hydrocarbons. However, the hydrogen is the positives and the carbons are the negatives. Okay. I don't care if it's like a negative six or a negative four or whatever. Just know that it's a positive negative. And since there's a compound here, there's a charge, right? One's positive, one's negative. And since this is a compound, one positive and one negative. However, this oxygen since it's by its lonesome, all elements that are by themselves or existing as their natural state, which is the, to the uh, diatomic, has a zero charge. And if you have a change in charge, so for example, zero going to some negative value and zero going to some negative value here, you actually have another type of reaction. This one is called oxidation reduction. We will get into specifically what oxidation reduction is in later uh, questions in this chapter, so hang tight for that. The only thing that you really should know here is that if you have a change in the charge, I started off with zero and then I went somewhere. I went to, in this case, it's going to be a negative two, but just know that it's negative. When you have a change in the charge, it's an oxidation reduction reaction. So this one, there's two answers. Okay. So guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, let me know in the comments if this helped you and give this video a thumbs up if it did and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to, and I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Okay. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.